Good afternoon and welcome to Barak Mitsubishi. My name's Joel and today we're going to be having a quick walk around of this 2015 Mitsubishi Challenger LS. It has done approximately 81,000 kilometers. It is in a titanium color, which is a sports automatic four-cylinder turbo diesel car. We're going to be quickly running around, uh, having a look at the exterior of the car, interior features, and just a general overview of the vehicle itself. Just having a quick look at the front here. Now, the previous owner has... Based on the accessories, definitely looked after this vehicle. Uh, just to give you an example, we have an aftermar oh sorry, uh, bonnet protector, which has been added as an accessory that's not a standard on cars, as well as we've got some headlight protectors, which are very good. Saves you from getting any chips on them and having to replace them uh, from you know wear and tear of just driving the vehicle itself. We've got a nudge bar and an LED light bar located on the very front there as well. Now, the black number plates, um, not a standard, but they do look very nice with the slimline black and white as well. Uh, not white jumping out at the front there as well, which it looks very nice with the titanium color. Having a quick look at the right hand side over here, we do have chrome wing mirrors and also door handles, which do just add nicely to our flow through of this vehicle. Um, just adds to the aesthetic as well, which makes it look very, very nice. Now, just coming around, having a quick look at our tires, um, they are all in very good condition uh, based on very similar to what is on this particular car here as well. Um, now our rim size, if you are wondering, is a 17 inch rim, which is an alloy rim as well, um, which just looks very, very nice in this particular car too. Um, just adds to the flow through and it looks like it's got like a semi kind of all terrain tire on there as well. Quick, quick flow through, uh, we do have a little bit of a, a step on the very bottom of that door just there, just to make it a little bit easier to get into the car. Now we do also have on our drivers and also our passenger side windows, uh, we do have our weather shields, sorry. Mind, the word just escaped me for a moment. We do, we do have our weather shields located on both, which is very nice. So you can actually have your uh, window down slightly um, if it is, um, you know, a little bit cold outside or like a frosty morning to help you to frost those windows as well. Having a quick look in there. Now, that bag that is in there is the tow ball, um, which is included with the car. Um, however, it's just put inside it so that way we don't have anyone kind of coming through and nicking them or anything like that. The footwell of this car is in very good condition. The Mitsubishi Motors mats, which are your genuine mats throughout, are in very good condition as well. So a very nice flow through and a good addition. And just another addition that, you know, the customers had to add themselves just to increase the longevity of the car. We also have a dash mat as well, which you don't see many of them very, very much anymore, but another nice addition to the car as well. Door trim wise, we have a very good amount of storage, a very nice flow through uh, between like, you know, your cream interior uh, with your black as well with a little bit of a nice glossy kind of fiber, carbon fiber look, uh, as you can see just there. It's a little bit different. Haven't really seen it very much on older cars. Very, very nice flow through though. Um, just having a quick peer inside as well. Um, you can see we do have leather seats throughout as well too. So nice flow through with your leather. We do have electric seats on the drivers and also the passenger side as well. So they are electric adjustments on that one too. Back left hand door over here is in very good condition yet again. Um, no major marks or anything like that that's uh, very noticeable at all there. Um, just having a quick peer in here. We do have our leather flow through which is in very good condition yet again there as well. We do have a, another good door trim over here. A few little scuff marks uh, as you can should be able to see on the camera there. However, nothing really too out of the ordinary to mention. Uh, we have a drink bottle holder there as well, which is a very good amount of storage space for you too. So if you do need to put anything in there as well, you have the option. Now in the very back of the driver's side, uh, sorry, the passenger, we do have our um, storage space and our ability there as well, which is just very, very nice. Um, so you have you know the option to store stuff there if you do need to as well. Now back left-hand tire over here is in very good condition yet again. Um, rim in good condition there, no gutter rash or anything like that either um, that you can see that's noticeable. So very good there as well. Uh, we have a fuel cap located on the left-hand side over here as well, which is in pretty good condition too. Now the, the benefit of having your fuel cap on the left-hand side of your vehicle is just so if you do accidentally run out of, um, if you do run out of room or anything like that, or fuel for that matter, you do have your fuel cap over here. So it's a little bit safer to put some fuel inside the car as well. Um, coming around to the back, we do have our re-parking sensors with our tow bar, which is extended uh, at the very back of the car as well, which is just very, very nicely too. We do have a few little scuff marks on that little chrome there, but nothing really too much to notice uh, or mention there either. 
Um, just having a quick peer into the back here. Now we do have two cargo liners, so very different and very rare, but we've got one, which is a genuine Mitsubishi cargo liner as one. And then you've got another aftermarket one. And then there's the carpet underneath. So you can see the, like the condition of the carpet is in very, very good order too. In the right-hand side over here, um, our cup holders on the right side for anyone in the back. Now, this is primarily built, so if you do have you know, anyone with a seven-seater car, which this one here looks like it might be just in the five-seat variation, I'll double-check for you momentarily. Um, so, But that's also a very similar build, so that way, if you do have those, uh, you do have them options available for you. Um, it is fine there. Now, cargo blind as well. It's a very nice cargo blind. They slide through and they slot in very, very nice and easily. Now, that was done with one hand just because I'm recording with the other one. Just gives you a little bit more heat protection, uh, makes it a little bit better as well. Uh, closing this one now, we'll continue our walk around. Back right hand tire over here is in very good condition yet again. Looks like they've all potentially been replaced because they are in very near new condition all around in this car. Another 17 inch alloy, very good condition here yet again. Having a quick peek into our rear door trim, very good condition yet again as well. Um, nothing really out of the ordinary there either. Now carpet mats flowing through which are in a very good nick there as well. Coming around to our driver's side door now we have um, no major marks or anything like that that's noticeable that stands out there either which is very nice to just to know that the previous owners definitely looked after it. Now, we do have our flow through yet again, good amount of storage space, window controls, and our window lock features all located on our door trim. Having a quick peek in, we've got our LED light bar button, our rear diff lock, and mirror controls, all located on the right-hand side over here with that traction control if you do want to turn that off. We do have auto lights on this car and auto wipers, which are as a, a little bit different, not always on all cars, but it is very nice to have. We also have paddle shifts if you would like to, you know, change your gears via paddle shifts. Cruise control located on the right hand side of the steering wheel there, along with our mode and also our other features on the right left hand side over here. We do also have uh, our phone controls located on the bottom left over here as well. So very nice to have there. A little bit of storage space in the very center compartment there too. Um, only very minor there, but you do also have another little bit of depth uh, in there as well. Climate control settings and everything located on the very center compartment there as well. Our four-wheel drive settings are in the very center here too with a lever, which is very nice to have. Cup holder in the very center compartment too, along with a very good amount of storage. AUX cable and everything located on the very bottom, which is your left and right AUX cable. Uh, very bottom right-hand corner there as well. Now, up the very top here on this screen, we do have lots of... Fun um, Lots of information at hand, so like this has your fuel economy and everything like that um, of the vehicle, what it's running at, how long you've been running for, uh, on the fly. So I'll, let me just grab the key really quickly and I'll turn it on for you, just so that that way you can see exactly what I mean. We do have two keys with this car as well, which is um, not a standard and it is a little bit out of the ordinary for an older car. Um, but yes, you do have your two keys with this. So as you can see at the very top there, we have our fuel economy. Now, please keep in mind that fuel economy is going to be rather high just because of short bursts around the yard, um, just moving the car from one place to another, not actually running it or driving it as a standard. So please keep that in mind. However, on our menu, we have our Bluetooth, AUX, and everything like that built into our center compartment. And if I turn this on really quickly, if I, I'll see if I can get into the, there you go. We can actually get into it without turning it on. We do have our reverse camera there as well. So sun making it a little bit hard to see, but it is located in that, which is very nifty. Sunglasses compartment in the roof as well. Um, so you do have plenty of storage available to yourself. Other than that, that pretty much concludes our walk around of this uh, little, not little, but our gorgeous Mitsubishi Challenger. If you do have any questions about this vehicle, please feel free to contact our friendly staff on 9907-0555. We do have warranty options available from, uh, that we can tailor to your needs, whether you like it for one year or even up to five years. Each in year is individual. Please feel free to contact our friendly staff and ask us how we can cover you today. If you do have any other questions, feel free to contact us on 9907-0555. You're more than welcome to come down and have a look at this vehicle today at 20 to 32 Canyon Drive in Berwick. Um, other than that, that's pretty much concluded our walk around of this Mitsubishi Challenger. My name's Joel and have a lovely afternoon.